Well, we're trying to get up over to the quarry. There's a big quarry down in there, but there's a fence all around it. So I'm gonna keep walking around and see if I can't find a break in the fence somewhere. Get close to the edge and see if there's a, maybe a better view of it anyway to kind of show you what the main goal is. It's probably 150 foot down in there. See the cliff wall and the... But anyway, give me a minute, I'll find a way in. I brought my parachute in case. Well, couldn't get over to the quarry. There's absolutely no way, so... I'm in Bluff City, Tennessee now. I'm gonna try to get up here and go over to this plant on the other side. I'll show you when we get up here, if I can get up this. I'm pretty sure I can. There's, this gravel's not too deep. Oh, just glad I ain't got no gear with me. Huh. Oh. Well, the last three days I've gotten about nine hours of sleep. And I never get that much sleep. So I feel so much better today. I should have brought my paint pen. Let me switch hands with the phone. Oh, what the... Railroad Monday today, plus Christmas is the day they took off for Christmas. All the crews, there'll be extra traffic today. So it might catch a train. Looks like I'm not the only one that's been up here. You left a cow trail. Gotta listen for a train horn. Yeah, see that smokestack? That's where I'm gonna try to get to. Oh, I thought I heard a train horn. Boy, <laughs> I hope none of this is loose. I will have to get a Wish I'd had a parachute. Yeah, that... If anybody can figure out what that plant is called... Uh... Uh, I can't remember what the name of uh, I'll mention it later. I'll look down in the description. And I'll name this plant here. Once we get to the rocks, I won't feel as anxious. Yeah, that's the sewer plant right there. I want to say Behringer plant, but Bert, B E R or something. But every time I get on the freight train in Bristol and ride south towards Knoxville, I pass this. This is the track I actually have. I have video coming across this bridge. That video of me in a boxcar. I'm filming out of this side, and you'll see that chimney go by from me in the box car it takes about 15 18 minutes to get to this point from bristol on the freight train i might be able to get down to this plant yeah it's abandoned i think uh larry said they made textiles here 
like fabric and stuff yeah I can get down there I'm gonna have to shut the camera off though I don't know about getting back up yeah that's gonna be uh, yeah let me shut the camera off we're gonna try to get over there and see what's going on if you look on YouTube there's a channel called Tri Cities Drone Guy T R I C I T I E S D R O N E G U Y Tri Cities Drone Guy he's got video flying over that quarry and flying directly over this chimney from the top Tri Cities drone guy. All right, let me shut the camera off and try to get down there. All right, made it. Boy, that was almost straight down. Ah, oh, it always does that. Now I look back and it doesn't look like much but a hump. Now let's get over here. And See if he can't get up in there. Uh, he could almost get up that ladder. Oh. I'm going to have to go around this wall. Man, talk about a perfect camp spot. If this was a train hop spot. Oh, that's a house. Uh, what would a house be doing down in here? I ain't going that way. bigger hole man that air is freezing cold coming out of there yeah man if just one of them bricks fell off up there talk about hard hat area uh uh it wouldn't matter if you had a hard as hell hat it wouldn't do you any good let me hop up this ledge here i gotta turn the camera off all right whew. got up a little higher boy it's kind of a blind spot you can't see where the edge is for that honeysuckle but that's about as close as i can get with that house being over there man have to come down here figure out a way to prop up something to get to that ladder to go up this some reason all my life since I was a kid I've been fascinated with pipes and culverts and stuff like that I guess because it goes into the unknown yeah I want to give a shout out to uh, sidetrack hobbies of Bristol Virginia sidetrack hobbies uh, you can buy new and used N scale, HO scale, O scale, G scale trains. Really fair prices. And he's got one heck of a selection. Uh, just type in sidetrack hobbies. 
Bristol, Virginia. Give the guy a shout out. Uh, let him know Shoestring sent you. He may even give you a discount for mentioning you came in because you seen my video. All right, let's try to do this Sir Edmund Hillary junk. See if I can get up. <laughs> See how much steeper it looks from up here versus down. Oops. Oh well, that's the good thing about being blind. It takes you a while to notice things. Oh yeah. I want to also give another shout out to the Army Surplus Store in Johnson City. <sighs> you're looking for some really good deals there's not not too many army surplus stores left with used stuff uh used stuff is always your best bet just google army navy store johnson city tennessee and it's, it'll show you on maps right there in the food line parking lot uh it's kind of in a little mini mall strip, like a strip mall. There's like a mattress firm place and a restaurant right there. But that Army Surplus store, he's got some really good deals in there. Kind of got a different name for the place than you'd expect for Army Surplus. Anyway, yeah, December 30th coming up. Thursday, I believe I got that surgery appointment find out when and where and what type surgery it's gonna be and man just because of that rest I've had I feel so much better god I wish I could ride right now the traffic's really picked up because they took Christmas Day off so they're trying to get caught up Whoa, almost fell. La la la, here I come to see the day. I'm going to the barn and eat some hay. But first I'm going to put it on a tray and cook it with a ray all day no I think I'll do it in May alright there's boat launch I think that's Watauga River and there looks like they're tearing down a building anyway try to get some train action now yeah the quarry is out that thing is like Fort Knox It's neat to watch that drone video though. Wished I could have got in that plant. Oh, that'd be bad at night. Come along here with 80 pound backpack and a bucket. Whoa! Or without. Alrighty then. Bumblebee tuna. Uh. Right. Yeah, not sure you can see the shirt I'm wearing today. Let's see, getting down this now. Might be like a snow sled ride. Yeah, I should have brought my paint markers, paint sticks, pins, that metal there. There'd be a train come along. Yeah, I'm slipping. No, oh, I gotta put the phone away. Yep, there's the Norfolk Southern Nine. Yeah, what I want to do is today, if I can find some train action, I'm gonna smash these coins, let the train run over them, then I'm gonna list them on eBay and kind of get an idea of what stuff's gonna sell for. Because 
uh, we're getting merchandise together. It's just we want to have a big, a big lump of it before we list the link to the merchandise. Uh, thought about like for my followers that follow me. Uh, thought about doing a shoestring army patch like a cloth patch an embroidered patch it says shoestrings army on it and sell those too that's just some ideas that have come up but we're getting there god can't believe it i was just down at this camp last month you know these some of these new riders now they just they don't care I'm wondering if these two these are both southbound there's a IM and a, a jump train sitting here man look at them walnuts Yeah, I'm going to get them coins out. Let's find a good car that's going to mash them good. Them empty lumber rack spine cars, they ain't going to leave uh, too much of a dent. They don't weigh as much. Let's see if I can't find a loaded box car that's got a lot of weight to it. Now they could still be sitting here waiting for a call from the holidays. Alright, there's a quarter, there's a dime, and there's a nickel. And there's some pocket dust lint. Alright, get them babies mashed. That's a brand new rail. They put that rail in since I've been here last. But he's empty. See that? You can fit a pinky in between them springs. I've ridden so dang long I can just look at it. But now I have to get so close to actually look at it because of my eyes now here's plug door this is what i was mentioning in my last video about different types of box cars this one here you twist that handle clockwise to open it and what happens these bars just come out like this and they pull that door out and it's empty. It's just so loud whenever you you do it. Running counterclockwise. Yeah, I don't know why I said clockwise. But yeah, but closing it. But it's empty. They won't let uh, box cars roll with them plug doors open. I love riding them because they're heavier and they don't hunt as bad, shake as bad on the track. But if a worker sees it, especially on UP, if you're riding Union Pacific and they see that door, plug door open, they are required to stop the train and shut that door. So I don't even ride plug door on Union Pacific now. You could get by with it here. You'd probably make it as far as Chattanooga on this train. Of course, it'd be about daybreak getting to Chattanooga if this train leaves within the next hour. See the piston? How it's sticking out there? Uh, he's got the brakes set. So the brakes are on anytime you see that piston sticking out. So it's okay to be in between here like this. 
Uh, lip grinder. Uh. See, this is what I was doing when I, in Kansas, I was getting down, I had I, that decoupler bar, my right foot zone right there. I misjudged the distance when I went to get off. Now, usually with these container trains, they have four of these cars before they have a coupler. This is the break point. See, it's got a coupler here. Now you have four cars this way and four behind where they don't have a coupler. It's just one big solid piece of steel. If they're set up like from coming from one uh, company. I don't hear any of them on so there's no perishable stuff like meat or produce. But yesterday was Christmas so or day before so stuff is still kind of getting crowded in bunches you'll have a space where there hardly isn't any trains for maybe 80 100 miles and then all of a sudden you'll get to an area where it's crunched everything's crowded into 30 or 40 mile section so they got to stop some trains to kind of spread out the traffic kind of like uh, bottles floating down a river you can't all let them go at one time see this is what I was talking about about they don't have couplers they have a big giant one piece and they're connected right here instead of a coupler and they never come apart ever Ugh, I can't see over. That's why I'm holding the camera up so high. Oh, there's... Oh, that molding that goes around those welds. Where they do a solid weld on the track. This year is, I'm in Virginia right now, and see how the air hose just goes across, there's no glad hands, no separation, it's just got a wire wrapped around it to keep that rubber hose straight, and it, these two, this swivels on that bottom base plate. Man, I wish I didn't have that appointment Thursday. Man, talk about be ready. I could, I'd have time enough to come down here and get me a nice, fat, juicy boxcar. Rolled out red carpet for me and everything. I'd have everything I needed to. I'd just stay on all the way to Birmingham. All the way to the Irondale Yard. See, these are them seals I was talking about. Sometimes you can see what company is branded into it, but usually it's just a number. And those really aren't security seals. Those are just to verify that it's been loaded and everything checked out and the amount's right. Oh, wow. Here we go. No effort at all. Hello? Brother Jigba. Sister Wine. Mother Freedom. Father Time. 
since she left me by myself. You're the only thing I believe that I got left. Brother Boxcar, sister Grainer, mother DPU, father Gondola. Since I still ride you all the time. You're the only thing that I ever think of. Oh. Well, he just pulled. I, I thought I heard something. Yeah, he's higher priority, so... He's obviously going to leave first. I should have put them coins on that track. See, now, in order for this train to go... That container train, that IM, has got to get at least one block up. What I mean by block is one signal block. That way they, it can be reset for this train. So I will go find the coins and... Let's see if we see any... Any train riders. Yeah, every time it was getting around Christmas, the day before Christmas is when they start bunching up and getting ready to take crews off for, for Christmas Day. I'd always make sure I was in a, a good small town, nothing really big. That way I wouldn't have to be worried about being stuck in some big giant town or out in the middle of nowhere for Christmas and stay a day I usually had enough for a motel and start riding the day or the day two after Christmas when everything got rolling again like now Now these two main lines here is all that goes through Bristol and the rest are yard tracks beyond that. Now yard one where that grain hopper is right there, that's usually your drop off and pick up track. Anything going on to Radford or Roanoke they'll pick up there. The Timken Baron. No, that's not. That's not a Timken there. I don't think. Uh, see what the graffiti is down here. You always wonder how much pain it takes to do something like that. See, whenever you see a graffiti artist where they left their painting, you see how they did not paint over the numbers? That means they, they're pretty aware of all the rules. Because if they paint over them numbers, the railroad's going to come back and repaint numbers over their artwork. So they don't want that happening, so they have the decency of leaving all the information about the train car on there. That way they don't throw that much of a kissy fit about it. I think it looks pretty neat. It, that looks like pizza to me. Let's see, Tommy, rest in peace. Uh, three steps. Well, I hadn't seen a DPU yet, but this train here has a DPU about, oh, eight or ten cars up. 
this one here will be leaving probably within the next oh 13 15 minutes from now I'll collect them coins well I hope I can video them being run over then I'll list the link to the eBay uh, in the description of this video and here's some loaded asphalt cars see they're so well insulated that stuff stays hot liquid like taffy then when they get to the place they unload them they'll heat that up a, a little bit again like as it's coming out but they'll mix that in like rocks and pebbles and make asphalt for road and it can be used for so much other stuff see since the last rain this train's been sitting here see the rust uh, there's a open oh, that might be the same open box car right there yeah I think that's that one I sung the song in but this one will be leaving anytime I hope I can get a video of it running the quarters over but if I can't I'll still make a video clip of them uh, like in my hand but I may have to come back. I went ahead and moved them to another area where I could access them. All right, we moved to a different location. Check out the rail. See those little notches in it, those little nicks? There's a big machine that has grinding wheels it out there's like several of them at different angles and they will roll over that track and grind it down to a more even contour but when you're like in a car riding on this you can hear it it's almost like a as you're going faster But, I am just south of the crew change office. There is that jump train that I was showing the box car on earlier. That's as far as I can zoom up. And there is no action, so it looks like I'm not going to be able to have the coins run over in this video. So, I will carry them coins with me everywhere I go where I'm making video. And I eventually will get these smashed in a video. Then I'll list them on eBay. I'll probably start it out 99 cents. Uh, for all three of no, I'll do them separate. Uh, nah, I don't know. Uh, I'll figure it out when time comes. I might do all three at once. Might do them separate. But I'll start them out at 99 cents on the bid and, and just see where it goes. And I'll put the link to the eBay listing in the description of the video. But yeah, I'm not going to be able to do it. Because that train probably ain't going to go anywhere until after midnight. 